on the northern Sacramento Valley reaching those record temps already. Your reporter covering Yuba County, Kayla Muller, is live from all of us with how people there are trying to beat the heat. You found a water fountain earlier. You, you're still there. That's a nice, cool spot to be, Kayla. Hi, guys. Well, you know what? It sure is hot out here, and we did officially surpass 100 degrees as of about 3 o'clock. You, you can see behind me all the parents are in the shade and all the kids are in the water. Uh, but I will say that it's been really windy today, right? So that's been helping things. I thought I was going to be sweating and huffing and puffing all day, but this breeze has definitely given us a nice break. However, over the next couple of days, the wind is going to be decreasing. So that's when we're really going to be feeling the heat. You mentioned that you're homeless. Mm -hmm. So how do you stay cool on days like today? Well, it hasn't, there haven't been days like today until today. <laughs> it's the first day to hit triple digits, and people all over Yuba County are doing what they can to stay cool, including Lynn Thompson, a homeless woman who was headed to the library to get out of the heat. Hang out, charge my phone, read a book, maybe, I don't know. So it's hot. We are encouraging our residents to be prepared and to make sure they have somewhere to go in case their homes don't have air conditioning. If you need a place to escape the heat wave, you can head to the Yuba County Library, the Yuba Sutter Mall, or any of the spray parks, which are open all hours. It's only the beginning, and we come out here all the time, and it's nice that it's free. The kids get to run around, and they get to meet new kids all the time at the park. The cooling centers aren't quite open yet because the county says they haven't met the threshold. They measure overnight temperatures, the humidity and longevity of a heat wave to decide whether cooling centers are necessary. So who knows? It could it could be July. It could be uh, next week. You know, it all just depends on what the weather tells us. Some days it can be a bit unbearable. I'm not comfortable with it. I get sick. <laughs> the county says to stay inside as much as possible as temperatures are expected to rise in the next few days. Make sure you have ice in your freezer. Um, lots of cold water, staying hydrated. So as far as the cooling centers, Yuba County says that they follow the same guidelines as the California Office of Emergency Services protocols for cooling centers. And so you can expect those to be open as soon as we have two or more consecutive days above 110 degrees with overnight temp temps above 73 degrees and 25 percent humidity. I also want to remind everybody that the Yuba River is running really high and really cold right now, so it's not recommended to take a dip in there. And county officials say that if you do want to go for a swim, of course, always wear a life jacket, but they say maybe to go to a safer body of water like the Bullard's Bar Reservoir or Lake Francis.